Hello there, welcome to Heart Explained Therapy and really looking forward to this video. I think I've developed a really good idea to help people and when I was initially thinking of this I was thinking of um, helping people with maybe children with ADHD because I just thought this would be a really good simple technique rather than some of the stuff that I've seen out there that's on offer for parents with kids with ADHD and they're all evolving sort of tasks and how to get to a specific outcome but the outcomes I believe is unachievable when you know the psychology of the mind and what it takes to suddenly just get motivation from nowhere when you're feeling really crappy and this goes for the person suffering with ADHD and the parents who are suffering with having to deal with the side effects of a child with ADHD so I think that I've merged something together now which can suit all people if they understand this and I've not really think thought of a name but it's a it's a it's a process and there's three P's involved so it's the process of the three P's um, obviously that's never going to catch on but um, it's something that I have developed from looking at different sort of countries techniques on how they deal uh, with certain areas of mental health and the, and the specific point and the most important point for me is when I have a client they have to sort of change a habit and do something completely different it's as simple as getting decent sleep eating healthy having 10 minutes exercise a day at least uh, but these are just on uh, plausible for the person to do. They cannot do these three simple things. What a, what a child could do if you bribe them with two pounds. And the human adult mind just cannot physically change because of this mental health fog that we're in where we're just, we have everything set up to make us feel comfortable and nothing that will ever um, make us go towards the fear which we have to go to. So I thought of What's going on is we regulate ourselves every day to certain habits to keep us, unfortunately, in a bad state of mind. Um, you can say that you are fine drinking every night, but you'll see that that's demotivated days ahead. And you don't really care about the demotivated days because later on you're drinking again. Or you are fine all week and then just have a mad blow out, binge drink at the weekend, smoke loads and then feel crap for the rest of the week and these cycles are no good for you, you're not getting the motivated mind that we need to sleep well, eat well uh, and do a little bit of exercise, just these three basic things that will make you feel higher than the alcohol and the cigarettes that you're currently taking which is just taking years off your life and making your physically health uh, physical health just shy. So the three P's for me is how you're going to start now thinking about everything and that is you're going to pause, ponder and proceed. Now this sounds like you're going to end up looking very silly because people are going to be engaging in conversations and you're just used to naturally reacting. But this pause, this pondering, is going to weigh up your emotional reaction to an external event. And this is where you're going to regulate yourself, because your self-regulation rules at the moment are naff. They are awful. They are doing everything that makes you lousy, you know, just lie around like a complete heap of a person always in anxiety, always worried about stuff, never knowing what to do, feeling pretty silly, listening to facts on TV, thinking that they're true and being completely unconscious to the real world. Pause, ponder and proceed with everything. Now this is what I think this will do in time. You go to watch Netflix and at the moment Netflix is more important than studying. Netflix is more important than going for a walk. So you're stuck with this wavelength of, oh, I'm 
just a caveman. I'm not going to snap out of being a caveman for the rest of my life until something really forces me. Like one week left to live maybe. And then I'll be lucky because I might be hit with that news and just get even more depressed and think why stop now? This is a reality. This is a future that people aren't sort of accepting. And I think this pausing, pondering, proceeding just every time you go for the Netflix remote you pause you ponder right I am just after something really boring to just waste away the next two hours of my life but I know deep down I want to create my own business one day and I'd love to do what that famous person does he's famous and he's rich and he's looking like he really has everything he wants so the pause and the ponder can make you, not every time, because you're just, oh no, fuck it, I'll just put Netflix on and then I'll do it in a bit. And you just won't do it. You're flatline, you're dead, you're gone, you ain't going to move. But you always have an opportunity. And one of those times when you're pondering, you'll say, right, I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look at 10 tips on how to make my own business a success. Boom. And then lies the brain waves that you're going to feel for the first time and think oh do you know what i've not been brainwashed to act like this i've not been sort of given the opportunity to behave like this but my god it feels good to go after my goal and change a terrible habit and do something positive you know what after this half an hour i'm going to go for a walk and i'm going to Pause, ponder, and proceed my thoughts into the imagination of my own business, or my own physical health, or my own mental health, or how I can get the best diet and plan everything. Because at the moment, everybody's quite easy to tell you the outcome, the end product. But you can't do it. I know you can't do it. I know that if I says to you, now go for a five minute walk every day, You'd open that back door, you'd feel the cold and you'll stay in. You're petrified of the cold, you'll do it in the summer, you'll walk in the summer. It's like, come on, winter is six months of the year, look like summer. <laughs> and actually, it's probably a bit more, to be honest. Summer, summer feels like about two weeks sometimes. So, I thought of another idea that goes along with this process. And it's actually very difficult to think of this one because I had to go against what I like to do. Now, I think I'm a bit more introverted as of late, um, if you can label anything, but I like to do certain things now all on my own. Exercise, uh, certain hobbies I wouldn't do around people because I just enjoy headphones on, music, my own little zone. But I just thought, you know what? We're naturally social creatures. So there's 90% of the world that probably wouldn't actually like to do anything on their own. They'd always want a partner. And then I thought about times in the past when I used to go to the gym with a friend. It made you more sort of keen and eager and you'd even be a bit more competitive and try and like do better than the other person. So I thought, right, how can we add the social aspect to this? And this is quite simple. Pause, ponder. And, uh, proceed with the thought of getting so sh somebody else involved so getting an exercise buddy getting your mum to join with the healthy eating link up with other people tell them this is just you want to get involved with them you want to do something with them and this is a thing that you can do you'll start to build up a little group uh, a collective so when you're having that bad day and you're watching Netflix, you'll get a phone call. It's our day for the walk today. Oh, I'm not feeling up to it. Oh, come on, you can do it. I'll go on my own then, don't worry. And then you might feel guilty that the person's going on their own for a walk and go with them. It's a great thing to do. So think of the social aspects for it. But think of the free piece because what that does makes you realise why you're not doing something. And you're not doing something that leads you to not doing something tomorrow and not doing something ever again for the rest of your life until you pass away, which is completely fine for you because you haven't felt life anyway. You haven't felt the pain of your pain, so it doesn't really matter. But 
there's another way to live and if you're watching a video like this where you've stumbled across self-help I'm sure this will be beneficial.